Hello. It's uh <clears throat> me clearing my throat, sorry. Friday. I am recording this on a Thursday though, which happens to be a uh holiday here in the US. Thanksgiving, so we're uh gonna do diverse USA because I haven't done this version in a while and I wanted to. I'm going to clear my throat again, so my apologies. All right. This feels like a very, this feels weird doing this. I mean, I haven't done a, um, I haven't done one of these, uh, just regular GeoGuessr things in a while. Usually it's been a daily challenge or the, uh, um, country guest thing for probably about a month now, but, uh, like I said on, uh, Wednesdays, I'm probably going to go to one day doing that and one day doing this, whatever kind of floats my fancy here. St. Joseph, Missouri. I have no idea where that is. I know where St. Louis is. St. Joseph is a completely different thing altogether. So we're just going to maybe put us here and hopefully find a route. I just realized I don't remember what I used to have the time set for for these rounds. And I think I have it on two minutes. I think it was five minutes before, wasn't it? Now it's uh, <clears throat> much more abrupt. See, this is how uh, out of out of step sync practice, I guess you could say, for doing this mode. So, yeah, we're just doing <laughs> two minute rounds. We'll see how quickly this gets through, and I might just do two things. You're gonna get a double dip today, mainly for my ineptness, but. All that aside, I'm sure most people know what we were on the other side. Oh, we were, St. Joseph was clearly visible. And I just was drawn to staring at that instead of looking at that. I very well could have got a very good score on that. Whereas this one, I will not. But Thanksgiving, there's two things. There's kind of like the history and then kind of what it is now. But it's just the old adage being settlers came they're having a hard time of it they got a lot of help from the the locals quote unquote and um after the struggle and being helped out they're like hey let's do a whole big feast of thank you so, hey we were not dying as much you guys helped us actually grow things understand the land, the weather, everybody who was going to die of malaria, no malaria was farther south, uh, it was mostly vener uh, VDs, or actually uh, venereal diseases, they're called something else now, either way, that's the very, I guess, kindergarten way, well, minus the VD discussion <laughs> of Thanksgiving, and kind of what it is now, it's just an excuse for family, and without the, uh, with the exception, I guess, of this year, extended family, um, get-togethers, where everyone just eats. I see that's Idaho, so I have an idea, at least, of the state, where exactly it is. It's, I'm going to say we're down here. I mean, I don't know. Ah. <sighs> I'm just going to guess we're down here because I feel like this was kind of the flat farmy area from oh so long ago, me doing the States every Monday. That's another thing I haven't done in a very long time is a Monday episode. And I've been thinking on that if I'm going to do another one or do something else for Mondays. Okay, we were farther. We were more in the center. But at least I got a certain section of the state right. Wow, this is a huge goddamn highway. A three-laner. Or maybe they call it six-lane. No, six-lane is when it's per 
side, I think it's the six lane. You get those in like LA, I believe. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh man, I almost choked because I don't know how to breathe. A lot of blurry. I know there was a sign here. Are we blurring out the sign or not? Can I see what we're that Zappos? Zappos exists. It's a physical location. I've always just seen them as like those shoe ads online for what's it like wholesale or outlet shoes? I, I don't know. I'm definitely going the wrong way. Yeah, I should just get on this side. I just look for hopefully a sign. This is a long stretch of road with nothing on it. I see stuff over here, so hopefully I can get there in time. <clears throat> to figure out where we are. Did I pass it? I did. Where is it? Yeah, that doesn't help me. This is such a huge strip of road with nothing on it. I'm a little concerned for my ability to find out where we are. Okay, here's a sign, but I think it's far too late. Exit 1, Cadoba, Prim and Proper. Is this like uh, New Mexico? Let's see. I got 10 seconds. Prim. Hmm. I'll just say we're here because, no, this was a huge highway. So maybe we're, maybe we're like there. Well, we were just outside Vegas. There's Prim. Okay. That was a long strip of nothing. That one was hard. Definitely the two-minute timer on that one made it very difficult. First Dakota. So this makes me feel like we're uh, maybe in one of the Dakotas. Yankton, South Dakota. Yankton. It's on a Meridian. Oh, the Meridian District. <laughs> Is Yankton going to show up? I think it's too small of a town, but we'll just take a quick look. Yankton. Quick, quick, look, look. Not seeing. I see a Kyle and a Kennebec. <clears throat> no Yankton. Landro, Harrisburg, Redsford, Scotland, Sioux City. Yankton. Nailed it. All right. Let us. We are right next to a bank. Can we find the bank? First Dakota National Bank seems to be right there. Let's find the street intersection. We are on the intersection of West 3rd and Cedar. This is West 3rd. I think we're like actually right there. <clears throat> I got to clear my throat again. Sorry. Okay. Um, let's take a look around town. At, I think it's probably the, what now is, I think, the state with the highest COVID percentage. There, there's something with it with South Dakota, because I know that, I think it was New York Times did an article, I think it was last week, comparing my state's governor with, I believe, either North, I think it's North or South Dakota. I think it's South Dakota's governor, comparing and contrasting of the same political party and com two completely different um, uh, takes or approaches to COVID. Uh, can I figure this? Why am I looking at that? I know it's in the U.S. We're doing diverse U.S. We've got Kitty Kingdom Daycare. Not helpful. I almost feel like this seems very familiar, but oh boy. Oh boy. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of towns that look a, a lot like this. Philadelphia, Tennessee, you say? I don't know if I'm going to see this one. Philadelphia, Tennessee. Zoom in just a smidge. 
I don't think this is a big enough town to show up this way, so I'm just going to put us near Buck Snort. <laughs> and, uh... Oop. Actually look to see if it says the, uh... The sunny side, that doesn't help me. I'm hoping it would have said the route we're on here. Maybe this sign is? The alternative. We're south on 11. Interstate 75 alternative. I don't see a 75 anywhere. Let's get back in state. South on 11. Let's find that at least. There's 11 west. There's 11 east. Where's just straight up 11? There's 11. Okay. We're going to zoom in here. Oh, I ran out of time. Oh my god, I'm glad I actually clicked on a place. We would have got there if I had the five minutes. Hmm. Okay, that went way faster. Yeah, we're definitely doing a second one. We're going to play the same map again. Hit play. Another two minute or... I guess there's going to be quick, quick little episodes. Because of my ineptness. But I guess you can call it value. Jog Road North. Is this like South Carolina? I I I don't know. I feel like I might be just Yeah, I'm I'm I don't want to be here. Maybe this uh, UPS truck might help me. <clears throat> Looking at the plates. That's a green or a white license plate. Huh. This door is open, so I can't look at the Grumman. Let's just, uh, maybe see Mirabella. Okay, this is definitely the south. Let's see if this, uh, Jupiter, Florida. You know, I heard that boys go to Mars. Mainly just to get um, these things called candy bars. Meanwhile, girls, it's, it's been said, they, uh, they go to Jupiter, weirdly enough, to get more stupider. That's the, uh, one of the most fun things we always said in school was... Boys go to Mars to get more candy bars. Girls go to Jupiter to get more stupider. It's very easy to switch them around. And then someone would say, boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. Or said, no, that's not how this works. Boys sit on my own petard. Man, there are a lot of roundabouts in this area here. So let's kind of look for many, many roundabouts. Kind of this. Oh, we were way south. All right, six miles from it, that's fine. Let's see. Uh, can I see DMV? That doesn't help me. I don't see a logo that I recognize. Is this a school bus? I don't know. West 58. It doesn't help me. Completely. Oh, excuse me. Duffield, Gate City, and Bristol. Is this Connecticut? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, I'm really hoping I see a um marathon. Is that Ewing Cumberland Gap? That doesn't help me. <clears throat> Can I, can I make out this sign? Southern states, no, that doesn't help me. Alternate 58, Pennington Gap, Big Stone Gap, and Abington. Kasasa? I don't, I don't know what that is. Lee County. Oh, man, there's a lot of nothing here. Ooh, this police might. Yeah, Jonesville. Doesn't help me. I don't know where the hell this is. 
Maybe it's Connecticut. <clears throat> I got 20 seconds. I'm going to have to guess probably Connecticut. I doubt it is, but fuck, man. I don't. I, I saw a lot of things, but nothing to help me. Bristol, we'll just click there. I don't see a 53 anywhere here. I'm about to get destroyed on this score. Wait for it. It said Southern State, whatever it was. So, yeah. Yeah, I just couldn't find it. Just need a state. I couldn't find anything saying a state. Well, this is out west. Those Rockies are way too tall to be in the east. But is this Colorado? Could be. Maybe I'm going the wrong direction. I should be headed. Oh, I want to see that truck. <clears throat> that truck might have something on it for me of use. I think it would if, if it just lined up perfectly, but it didn't. Um... Okay, I do see they have little logos on their street signs, so what I'm going to do is not be able to see it, so i got to wait till there's one on this side of the road. Cottonwood Heights. All right, that doesn't, that, nope, nothing of help there. I'm going to guess Colorado, at least for now. Maybe it'll say something on this church. Nope. Um, 45 seconds. Hmm. Big development here. We're getting outside of town. Cottonwood Heights. And I'm going to say this is probably like, um, Colorado. That doesn't help me. Maybe this bank would if I... Doesn't help me. All right, we're just going to say it. We're outside Denver somewhere, maybe like there. Did I get the state right at least? No. This was Utah. Cottonwood Heights right there. Hmm. Not doing well with this two-minute timer. Speaking of not going to do well, this this one's going to be bad. Unless this clears out soon enough. Well, it did. However, am I going to see a, like a newspaper mailbox? And it'll say like the city. There is a school bus. However, school bus is turning. I think it just says first student. It doesn't actually say, uh, it doesn't say the school. Um, King Philip Motors. King Philip feels like a Eastern European, Eastern U.S. <clears throat> type thing. This is Carthy's. That doesn't help me. Hmm, classic pizza. Starnail Spa, Edward Jones. Leffing Wells. Last name doesn't really regionalize where we are either so we keep going we keep going mcgovern's would it kill you guys to like just remind people hey you're here west haven connecticut huh well we'll <clears throat> we'll we'll do it we got new haven and there's west haven so we're we're gonna assume we're down here. I mean, we might be on outskirts because you saw what that road looked like. Is there anything here that would look like outskirts? Um, no, we're gonna keep going at least until I find a intersection that tells me a transfer station. Oh, Jesus! I ran out of time. We were fucking. Excuse me, Rhode Island. Wow. 
Oh God. Um, this is like the previous issue only. I think it's going to be harder to actually get anywhere in two minutes. There's nothing here. Desolation. I'm just going to have to probably try to stare at license plates. Try to get the colors out of them. Looks to be white with a little bit of a gradient color, at least on the top and the bottom by the looks of it. I doubt that doesn't really help me. It could be an Arizona thing. Certain Arizona plates kind of look like that, and although there's more purple and dark in the bottom of the license plate. So, this is probably going to... No, it's just a cube of random rocks. Um, Mile 15. I'm not going to click enough in time probably to get where I need to go. But looking, assuming that car is actually in the state it's from, New Mexico plates don't look like that. They're the yellow ones with red lighting, wording, lettering, excuse me. There's the word. These great things make me feel like it could be a Texas thing or an Arizona thing. There's whatever those are called, storm drains maybe. Ooh, this is a lot, a lot of nothing. Uh, why did it say slow? Is this like ranch land? Yeah, this is when two minutes kind of screws me, but I'm going to say this seems very desolate. And well, Is there a road over here? I don't see one. Uh, these look too big to be it, so maybe we'll say we're like here. Let's see if I've thought this out well. Absolutely not. Fucking Idaho, huh? Yeah, I guess you can see those plates being that color. Either way, that's going to do it for today. I'd like to thank you all for watching, taking the time to watch these throughout your busy day. I know you have many choices for entertainment, and I appreciate you taking the time to look at these things. If you have any like, favorite, comments, subscribes, thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, complaints, tips, hints, suggestions for maps, games, anything you'd like me to do, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'm going to go try to enjoy Thanksgiving as best I can in this weird year. If you also have Thanksgiving, go do it too, although that was the day before this. But either way, have a good one, folks. We'll see you next week with more stuff.